the contemporary text. Had not been published earlier or presented known to no one nowhere. Hence where from, who, whom, where and when I don't know. I, I, I really do not know. Even with good intentions, if then in the theater I had listened with all my heart to that literary drama content, well, emptiness, that wouldn't have told me anything, nothing. Cause it is so topsy-turvy. Somehow twisted, a kind of cranky wriggled so much that I myself don't know how it is. The time, the place and the whole action washed out, crisscrossed, disemboweled, sliced, scattered, mixed up, bowled away, pulled out and proffered. For intellectual tasting, speciality. The nonsense! Oh, take it away from me. Oh, thank you. I am not so hungry. What am I to do? Absorb rubbish? My doctor forbade me. Formerly, it used to be served on white paper, the text so legible, uh, understandable, uh, 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 readable, uh, uh, that it was just perfect. And not easy. <laughs> oh no, just the opposite. Difficult tangled, unclear, and so complicated that almost unintelligible. But in spite of that, wonderful, momentous, stupendous, tremendous, gigantic in its contents, its meaning, its message for us, present day people, he, the, Just classic. I have no words, 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 words. And Shakespeare, oh, Shakespeare. To be or not to be, ha ha, ink, And Chekhov, uh, to Moscow, to Moscow. And Beckett, and Brecht, and Ionesco, and Moliere, and the and so on and so on and so on, and all of them, and myself, educated on their creative output, inspired, infected with their artistic uneasiness, touched, thrilled by their thoughts, although independent completely free from them. Myself was also writing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To be exact, I have tried. However, I didn't want to, because I knew that none of the contemporaries of the ball point pen era would recognize the style of my <laughs> fountain pen. Hmm. Actors cannot influence me. I'm superior. <laughs> if actors could be more meaningful, I would have become an actor for sure. I had even some predisposition to that. And already being a youngster like that, youngster like that. Mommy, mommy. 
Mommy, mommy, oh, mommy. I could do not just one thing. I could do a lot. I could now <laughs> sudden and then amuse. <laughs> and will add pleasure. Everything due to the child which drowsed in me and which was awakening in me from time to time. So after this literary attempts of mine, I decided to present my skills and abilities to the one very stupid school of drama. So I went there for pre-examination consultations in order to see if they were interested in me. And what a mercy that I went there earlier some teacher was there, he was a professional actor, but I didn't know him at all. He was there alone, as if he was infallible, but he was fallible, and very, very, very much so. Because having shown him my potential capacity, what did I hear in exchange? A pee pee. Uh, the pe people who decided to go by such a desperate path of life, full of surrender, struggles, efforts, are obliged to have, besides their intellectual strength, uh, 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 unusual sensitivity and outright unlimited imagination. Please do listen. Ima. And I do not have to listen. Imagination, I understand. One does not have to repeat that for me. Imagination, ah! So what do I have? By what do I live? With a base slander and with a flagrant injustice. Why? I'm in a position to imagine anything. But not that I am deprived of imagination. And moreover, when he said that my appearance was not universal enough, because, for instance, I could never ever be a Hamlet, that was enough. Too much. I could not stand it, and I started a appearance. Oh, fuck! I began. In spite of his opinion pertaining to my appearance, I began agreeing only with one fact that I could not play all parts because nobody has ever been capable of that so far. So I began, and since I had just read Hamlet, I was doing that perfectly well. So I began. And when I died, I stood up, bowed, and went out without a single word. And perhaps until now that professional actor has been sitting there with his astonished face, unable to understand this whole theater <laughs> while I am far away. I am someone else and somewhere else. <laughs>
feverish. You know all that childishness. I have even overstepped the infantile age limit, which is binding to all those trying to take up these not so serious studies. So now I can laugh easily at all of that <laughs> age limit. Ha! <laughs> and now, ha! But that also annoys me. Limit, limit! Because how can the many years of obtaining experience in life be an obstacle to perform duties of the profession which is so much based on the knowledge of life? Limit! Why? To become an actor, one has got to taste um, a human existence first, as to be able later, exactly on stage, be truth-saying actor, thrilling and ravishing with all his authenticity. And here is the limit. Why had Sir Lawrence Olivier himself been well aged with all his super duper maestra come to this silly school of drama to take the entrance exam? Let us assume that to conceal his name he would have masked himself properly. A wig, a moustache, a nose, and all additional fake items that he used to like most. So what then? What then? Then not recognized by his colleagues actors, he would have to hear sorry, thank you, no and go limit. Ha! Absurd limit! Fortunately Olivier is already dead and does not have to participate in such theatrical farce and me as well. Although I am still healthy and quite fresh, I do not have to go through all of that since I have just taken my lifelong decision. <laughs> Acting <laughs> is not for me. I do not have <laughs> the nerves for that. <laughs> not anymore!